Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. This morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts on useless comforts. In 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 8, last time I shared to you about Penina provoking Anna. But here's the other thing right now. Now her husband, Elkanah. If you read in 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 8, after, after uh, Anna's countenance was sad and all the challenges that she had, the pain and the, I mean, the, the turmoil going through her, the trauma she was going through. Then Elkanah comes to town and then tells uh, 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 Anna, listen, what's the problem? You don't have a child. I'm more to you than 10 children. Excuse me? Excuse me, Elkanah? That's what he was saying. He was saying, yeah, I'm, I'm more to you than 10, 10, 10, 10 sons. That's wrong. That's so wrong. You, you, you can't be a son. You're a husband, for goodness sake. And what, what Elkanah was doing, he was trying to comfort Anna and preventing Anna from walking into the temple to seek out her destiny with God, to sort it out with God. Because if Anna had taken comfort from the things that um, Elkanah was saying, she wouldn't go into the temple. So there are some times when people come offering us useless comfort when we don't need to listen to them. We have an issue with God. Let them get out of the way. And you go and face God and tell God, God do something. The comforts they bring, are, they bring are temporal. The comfort they bring uh, or the ease they bring is just temporal. It will not take us away from the, from the pain. It will not alienate the, 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 the stark facts that, that stares at us in the face. It will not cut us away from the stark facts. You don't need that comfort. They are useless comforts. What you need is an encounter with God. What you need is a one-on-one -on -one with God. What you need is to go out, storm into the gates of heaven and trash it out. Stand before their altar and make your request and pray and call upon him. And you enter boldly and say, God, something is wrong. I want to do something about it. That is what to do. Don't settle for those useless comforts. They will just ease the pain for a little while, but the stark reality will always be with you. Don't buy into it. So Kana was providing a temporal solution, something that will not take away the stigma of the barrenness, something that will not take away the stigma of uh, 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 Anna's position, something that will not take it away. So Anna was going to say, okay, I'm content. I have a husband who is worth to me more than 10 husbands, 10 children. No and no and no. That will prevent you from stepping out. That will prevent you from a miracle. That will debar you from walking into an, an arena of glorious manifestations of the power of God. That will prevent you. That will prevent you from an encounter that is going to give you a testimony that will encourage other people. So Elkanah comes, the husband comes, offers comfort, but it's a useless comfort. Don't settle for those useless comforts.